make videos. Her, her, her. Okay. Uh, nectar, dog, dog nectar. What's next? Oh, fun. Okay. I know what we're fighting now. <sighs> Look familiar? He should. He's an asshole. It's Magmar version 2.0. I think he has some special name. Let's find out what it is. It's like Cryo Magmar or something like that. Um, fly Oh, he's just Magmar. Fuck him. Not special. Screw you, dick. Huh. Sweet. Okay. Okay, that's a little glitch that I noticed, uh, in, uh, Beastly, I think. There's this dude on YouTube, who I mentioned in the last Magmar video, who, uh, was doing all the bosses, and it was totally awesome. He showcases this awesome easy way how to beat, uh, the final boss in the cheapest way possible. And expect to see it here. No, seriously, I'm cheap as a motherfucker. Um, just like him. Oh shit, don't die. Okay, we're good. Uh, heal characters. Yay! I'm starting to realize that everything you do in this game, every weapon you level up, doesn't fucking matter. Your alchemy, nah, doesn't matter. Once you get to Omnitopia, everything's replaced by bazookas and more bazookas. Oh shit. Uh, yay! I didn't die. Cool. Um. At this point, everything that's done can be done with the bazooka. And, like, okay, heal spells and biscuits. That's about all you need. Really. Because your dog does about 80% of your damage without even fucking trying. All you need to do is keep his ass alive and keep your ass alive so you don't get a game over. Which I might, because I'm an idiot, but whatever. I wonder if that'll even hurt me. Apparently it does. Hurt me for exactly how much I healed for. I like it. Hey, heal leveled up. Fantastic timing. Just when it's needed most. Ow. Shut up. I don't even remember how much health this guy has, but hopefully he'll die soon. He's slow moving enough that... Oh, he heals too. <laughs> Who doesn't want that? We're playing this cheap. Well, okay, we always were, but I think alchemy works on him, so I'm going to try. Yes. Is he dead? Yay. Okay. So, fuck, there's Carlton. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, that was, that was a game over right there, but thanks to the powers of rewinds, we're safe. Okay, uh, let's see if we could do this. Yes, okay. We're to the safe zone. At this point, he can't do anything. It's pretty great, really. Uh, the final boss not being able to hit you at all. I think he might be able to cast alchemy, but it's predictable and easy to counter my dog spazzing out, but whatever. I think I'm pretty much beating the game right here. This is how you win, guys. This is how you beat Secret of Evermore. Um, uh, screw alchemy. It's too risky. The little kid will be like, hey, I'm gonna go play.
people are yelling outside my window. Random ass shit. Oh well. Oh hey, dog got hit. Uh, should be fine. He's a toaster. Toasters are resilient. Or so I'm led to believe. Poor toaster dog. Don't be like that, toaster dog. I like you better when you leaf. Don't die on me. Here, have some heal too. Cause I want you alive at the end of the game. I don't know why. Boredom mostly. Need a friend, a companion, a chum. Someone who can inflict 1,600 damage on the final boss. Never ending boss fights. Ah. Hmm. Wish there was more to say, but really, if I go down there, I get hurt a lot. Here, I'm, you know, nice and safe. And the boss fight becomes pathetically easy, and I don't have to avoid anything. I don't have to avoid anything deadly. I don't know why they give you experience on the final boss, but game's over. So, yay! We beat Secret of Evermore, guys! Oh, my dog ding too. Okay. I think he has an off switch. Yes? What the hell was that red thing? Wh whatever. Carlton has left the building. Tidious film days are over. Yada yada yada. What's gonna happen to Evermore? Oh no, is it stabilizing? Oh, spoiler alert. We're getting permanently healed. I like it. So in the end, I'm, g I'm gonna have to say my thoughts on this game. And they are as follows. Uh, the weapons in the game, I do like how it works, but at the same time, would have been cooler if it followed more of a secret of mana method in that the weapons are all of a like genre so if you get the swords to level 2 you could charge all of them rather than having to level each weapon if you noticed at the end there there's some weapons I never even bothered to level uh... Let's see weapons in the uh... third world short of the lance you don't use omnitopia weapons you don't use need to use at all everything's blowing the fuck up I probably should have been paying more attention but fuck it I've, I've beaten the game I don't really care anymore uh, Monster Quake! Awesome. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna pause the video here real quick. Oh shit. Uh, okay! Yeah. Alright, pause the video. Uh, pretty much, they need to get rid of all the main people. And then the world will be fine. I think. I think. Anyway. Uh, Nevermore forever. Hey, he made a pun. Or a rhyme. I don't know. I don't know this crap. Yada, yada, yada. Do something. What? Am I supposed to move something? Or what the fuck? Stop thinking. Ah. <sighs> Any anyway, uh, you guys can read this. I'm just gonna kind of talk. Um, so, pretty much, 
now that I'm done with this one, I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do next. But uh, from from what I I'm aware, integrating and differentiating are completely opposite things. So he did absolutely nothing there. Or no wait, I don't know whatever. Something like that. He completely reverts what he does at some point in that equation. Anyway, um, sorry. Random math joke I found somewhere. Uh, but I don't know which one I'm gonna do next. I'm debating between uh, Star Ocean, which would actually be kind of fun. And by that I mean not at all. 